Okay, let's start uh, filling this out. So I've switched the uh, JSON code we wrote in the previous lesson uh, and just again copied a simple template like we've done for several other UIs. So we can just do the same there. Um, and then we've got a couple of, uh, we've got a, a button connected here to save out our JSON and this populate script that we use to fill in the UI basically. Uh, at the top, we're going to read this JSON file back in, it's just a string at the moment, and then here we're basically going to define some artists uh, and some short statuses we can f populate the UI with. Obviously these could be anything and usually they'd be coming from a, a database or similar. Cool, so let's uh, start filling this out and I shall be back. Okay, we are back. So let's save that and run that. And we'll have this fun little UI. So let's just quickly go through what we are. Well, I'll demonstrate the UI first and then we'll go back through the code and have a look at what we're doing. Uh, so basically, at the top here, we uh, create a dictionary and then we read and we uh, read in the information in this. JSON file that we created last time, and at the moment, obviously, it's just it would just make a bunch of blank entries for each sequence shot, and then their status and artist for each shot, which are here and here. Cool. And we run the populate uh, method, and we basically clear out any data in here, um, and then run through this dictionary for each sequence and then we basically make a combo box for an artist and then add the artist so here we go here's our data that we added from these names here artists artists so for instance we can start filling this stuff out and Bob and I don't know, Frank again it's fine great uh, and then this will actually come up next time once we've saved the JSON out um, so we can come back to that in a sec, and then same for the status. Again, these were this list of data here. So let's say to do this one's in progress, this one's reviewed, this one's being approved, and this one's also in progress, for instance. Great, and then same here. This will come in useful. This will basically, when we load the JSON back in again, if it finds the text in the combo box, it will load it for us. Uh, so then this goes through and basically takes our sequence, our shot, and our blank text, and then updates the second. So it goes zero, one, two, three. So the second one here with this artist combo box, and the third one here with this status combo box. Cool. And then when we run the save button, So will give us a little pop out saying you've updated it and this is the location of it. So if we go and have a look at this again now, we should have yeah, populated each of these statuses. So we can close this. Let's just quickly run through what this does. So we basically get all the um, all the items in that tree widget. And then you can get the first one by item.text and then the index and then the shot because you get sequence shot artist and status. And then again, we're um, 
running through that dictionary here and getting the current text out of it. And then we're writing it the same we did last time, writing out a uh, JSON data format. And then here we're just popping up a little handy message box. This could be information like in other, in other tools you might want to make, you can make this um, like a warning or an error message to flag if something's gone wrong for whatever reason. And here we just give it a title and we say shot state has been updated. We pass in that JSON file at the top because we've successfully written to it. And then just OK just adds an OK button basically. And then this is all the same as before. So now if we run it again, now we've saved that JSON out, you'll see it remembers the status. So for instance, we could be really mean and give Frank lots of overtime. <laughs> here and we'll say this one's come back to progress great save this again same thing if we go check our file here we go Frank's got a lot to do he's a busy boy <laughs>